If you caught my video last week, you guys know exactly how I feel about printing or printers. But today's video, I'm gonna actually do a real video talking about troubleshooting printers. And even though I completely dislike printing in all of its glory, I do, unfortunately, have to troubleshoot them from time to time, and you will too. So we're gonna talk about some of the basic troubleshooting steps that you can go through to see what the issue may be. Now, keep in mind that Every printer is different and the issues could be different depending on the environment that you're in. So if you guys have any advice that I may have missed, please put it in the comments below so other people can find out answers to questions that they might have. Or of course, if they haven't experienced it yet, now they know what to be aware of. So make sure you guys leave the comments. Before we jump further into this video, make sure you guys check out IT Pro TV. They are an affiliate of mine and clicking on the link and signing up with my coupon code ITCQ30, which saves you 30%, does help support this channel. So if that's something you're interested in and you really wanna learn more, IT Pro TV has some of the best learning content that I have seen. So check out the link in the description below. Let's talk about printing. One of the most common issues that you're gonna get when it comes to printing is a user call in saying, I can't print or nothing's coming out of the printer. And one of the very first things that you can actually do is open up your print server if you have one of those in your environment. We're going to jump over to our virtual environment here. I have a print server running and in that print server you have print management. So you guys can pull up print management. All you have to do is go to the start menu and start typing in print management and it should pop up and then you will have access to this again just like we have here on our screen. Now you can see I have ITCQ print one, print two, and print three. These are the three printers that I add today for the purpose of this video. Now you can see here in our list that all of our printers are showing as ready, meaning they should be working properly. They have no jobs in the queue right there. And it says what server name they're on, what driver name they're on, and driver version, driver type, etc. In your environment, if somebody calls in and says, hey, I'm not able to print. One of the very first things that you can actually do is remote into your print server and take a look at print management and look at that specific printer. See if the queue status is anything other than different. See if there's any jobs in the queue. Many times you're gonna find that you can actually right click on one of these printers and click open print queue and it's gonna show you every single print job that is in that queue. Oftentimes you're gonna find that there's a job stuck here. I'm gonna put some screenshots here so you can see exactly what that looks like. And what you have to do is actually right click on that print job and you could do like a pause or you could cancel that print job completely. Many times you're gonna find that you actually have to remove all of the print jobs from the queue in order for things to start working properly again. I can tell you from my personal experience, being on call working in a hospital, I was called at two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, numbers of times because our users were unable to print. So we have nurses out on the floors calling in, hey, I can't print. I go in, I check the print queue, and what do you know? There's a job stuck in the print queue. Now, I blame the users for this because they were actually trying to print recipes. Now this has nothing to do with a hospital, but they must have had a little bit of downtime and said, I'm going to print this crock pot recipe. Well, for whatever reason, our sharp printers hated when we try to print recipes, they would always get stuck in the queue. And being 100% honest with you guys, I definitely took calls in the middle of the night to fix print queue issues because they printed recipes. And all you have to do is clear out that print queue. And once you clear out that print queue, you can try to send that job over again and see if it goes. So aside from troubleshooting the issues on our print server, we know that we went in, our printer was ready, maybe there was no jobs in the queue. We can actually go and remote into the user's computer. And from this user's computer, I'm actually gonna type in printer and scanners because I wanna pull up what printers this user has access to. We see that this user has access to IT TCQ print three on our print server. And if we open the queue, we can see there's nothing stuck in the queue, no reason why it should be not printing. So we know that that's the, act, that's the printer they have access to. It's still not functioning. One of the things that you could do is actually go again to the start menu. We're going to type in services, and I'm going to actually run this as administrator here. And once services is open, we're going to scroll down to print spooler. This should pretty much always be running in your environment here on your computers. And one of the things that you could do if you're still having trouble printing is right click on the print spooler and restart it. This will restart the service completely on that computer. And then you could try to send that job again and see if it goes through. Now, if the job is still not going through, 
the best bet for you, if there's nothing stuck in the queue and everything looks ready, is actually going to the printer itself and unplugging it. Now you might know printers actually do have memory inside of them and sometimes things just get a little haywire. It's like the same thing with computers. Sometimes you have to do a restart and then everything starts working again properly. It's the same thing with printers. Unplugging them though, actually I found helps a lot more than restarting them because the next thing I'm talking about here is the web portal that you could actually log into on these printers. And if you just type in the IP address of that printer in your browser, it'll actually take you to a web portal that you then have further access to. And there you can adjust you know, your trays, you can adjust the type of print jobs that are going to those specific trays. There you would adjust like IP addresses and subnets. Um, there's all types of information that you can find in the web portals for these. I don't have access to that on this machine itself, probably because I threw it, but that's another story. I'm gonna link to you guys a video in the description below from HP that actually kind of walks you through that web portal, just so you guys get an idea of what you can get into. Some of the issues that you might find in the web portal are actually a little bit more advanced and take a lot of time to troubleshoot and look into at times. So make sure you guys just take a look at that video so you can visualize what that web portal looks like. But typically you won't be doing too much troubleshooting for some basic steps going to that web portal to look at anything. If you can you know, go to that IP address and the, uh, the web portal page pulls up, you know that it should be functioning properly because you can access that. If it was not functioning properly, you probably wouldn't be able to access that web portal page at all. But another physical issue that you could have with these printers, aside from restarting them, is these print trays. And I'm gonna talk about these print trays right now. I'm gonna open this one up here. You see here we have our paper in here. I'm gonna take this out. And you see these blue, all these blue um, tabs right here, these blue plastic tabs, these are actually adjusting your print trays. So if you had different size paper, um, you'd find that you could you know, adjust it to the correct size. Now all these you can adjust back and forth, as you can see. And sometimes when users are actually putting in new paper, they may bump these in some way and it gets stuck or something weird just happens with that. So oftentimes you can find if you actually just move these, um, the print tray alignment back and forth, that sometimes it could uh, resolve the issue. Sometimes these issues with these print trays, you might find that it's unable to print. There's an error message on the printer saying that there's a jam, um, saying to check the tray. And you're like, well, I checked the tray, everything looks fine. But really it's these guys that you have to adjust just so that it kind of resets it. So once you get your paper back in there, you adjust your print tray uh, just fine with your paper, throw it back in there. And oftentimes you're gonna find that doing that, it could resolve a print issue. Now these were just some of the basic troubleshooting steps that I wanted to go through. These are the troubleshooting steps that I most frequently used when I was troubleshooting printers. These are the top things that came to mind for me that I would check every single time somebody called with a printing issue. So I hope this helps you guys out some, and I hope that you guys, if you have any other feedback or any other troubleshooting steps that somebody can take, please throw them in the comments below. This is a community of people and we try to help each other out, so please leave your feedback. That's all we got for today's video. If you guys wanna see more, make sure you leave a comment below. We'll set up more things so we can talk about troubleshooting printers, even though I really don't wanna do that. Please don't make me do that. So anyway, that's all we got. As always, take it easy.